hi guys welcome back to my channel today myself that ah this is a very good information to you know pass across um so that's why i'm making this video today so before we start i'm going to quickly run down most of the questions i got on my comment section and some that i got on instagram so one of the questions i got is Please, Chidima, can you show to me some of the good companies I can buy shares from? And at what age should I start buying shares? And uh, I don't understand what shares is all about. Can you throw more light? So, first of all, you don't borrow money to buy shares because shares is not um, a money doubling scheme is a long-term investment meaning that if you borrow money to invest in something that will yield you profit in say five six seven years um how are you going to be able to pay back it means that you're going to spend most of the years in prison before you start eating your profit which is not too good the advice is always that you save your funds let me break it down save money in your whatever uh, platform you use to save money if it's a piggy bank a fixed deposit you know save your income for a while share your money and you know say okay this one is going to my investment portfolio this one is going to the business i want to start this one is for enjoyment this one is for family this one is for friends and you cannot borrow someone's money and be you know doing that the next point i want to talk about is the fact that we see stock investment as uh, old people type of investment in fact stock market is actually for young people because stock is a long-term investment let's use two different ages now for illustration someone in 60s and someone in 30s someone in his 30s have enough time to leave his stocks for capital gains or dividends while someone in his 60s even though have time but will want to sell off before retirement age you know girls in 20s 30s should try and have stock portfolios you know it's very interesting to see that when vendors on social media announces that there's slash in price it's black friday the discount there is great deals on shoes bags and hairs we glue to the vendor's page you know and make sure we don't miss the opportunity of buying at cheaper rates but when we hear things like stock prices are going down or stock prices are going up it looks boring to most of us but we forget that this is a money-making channel the same money that we all need to sustain our spending and it's not even a big deal one of the things that you look out for when you want to 
decide on which company to buy shares from is the going concern if the company has the ability to sustain its operation for like five ten years you look at the sectors that are doing well that are not going anywhere in fact sectors that are growing during this pandemic you you can all tell that people were doing online meetings online business using data calling cards you know all sort of apps came out all these are signs that it and telecom um, companies are doing well so looking at sectors to buy actually buy shares from i'll look at telecom companies and um, it all right again ask yourself which one am i going for is it capital gain or dividend because there are companies that do well in capital gains and some do well in dividends payments so capital gain is when you buy say 169 as mtn is selling now and maybe in the next three or four months that particular stock price is now selling at maybe 173 naira and you have like 20 units so 173 times the number of units that you have the small small top ups on each unit is your capital gain all right dividend is maybe at the end of each year the company decides to pay dividends that's profit they made as a company right um sometimes they pay yearly and it's not by force that they pay you some companies you should find out if they pay yearly if they pay after two years if they pay quarterly or if they pay six months if six, six months you know so if you want to buy stocks ask yourself um which one should i go for is it the one that makes enough capital gain or the one that will pay me dividends so if it's the one that pays you dividends you don't even care if the stock is doing well so some people want dividends why some people want capital gains for example you want to compare gt bank and zenit bank at least these two banks are doing well right and you want to compare their stocks you can see that one is doing well than the other in terms of capital gains and the other one is doing well in terms of dividends payment so you ask yourself which one do i want to go for is it capital gains is it dividend payment if you love this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel also click on the notification bell you're going to be notified anytime i upload new videos on my channel merry christmas and see you in our next video bye